But hey, if you've been missing your right-wing political comedy, <laughs> if you've been jonesing for some right-wing political comedy, then it's back, folks. It's back in a big-ass way. Suddenly, you can't fucking move for the only conservative comedian on the circuit. Suddenly, there's a hell of a lot of only conservative comedians on the circuit. On the <laughs> and they're all up here. They're all rocking up with shows and names like Unleashed. <laughs> Unleashed? What fucking leash? When we ever on a little, who's had you on a little? Well, none of my business, obviously. <laughs> Far be it for me to king shame heaven, though. No, you get down with your bad plugged and collared self. Absolutely. <laughs> oh, some fucking up, also bloody vanilla to think polyamorous is somebody who shags parrots. No, no. <laughs> Unleashed, or uncancelled, or uncensored. And nobody has ever censored you in your life, mate. Somebody might occasionally have replied to you, but that's not the same thing. Somebody telling you you're full of shit is in no way infringing upon your freedom of speech. He's exercising his. That's the way it works. I've been cancelled! Read the five-page article in the Sunday Times about how I have been cancelled. See me on Talk TV telling Piers Morgan how I am the victim of cancel culture. Read my New York Times bestseller about how the liberal elite are seeking to cancel. You know what? If that's what cancellation looks like, you go right ahead and cancel my fat ass anytime you're fucking ready. Okay? <laughs> Jesus, I can handle your toxic politics. Spare me the whining and the phony victimhood. Not getting on live at the Apollo does not constitute state oppression. Okay? I can't get on it either. My right on credentials are fucking impeccable. I've never been on any of those bloody things. I did topical comedy on the BBC for 17 years. I've never been on Have I Got News. Been writing comedy songs my whole career. Never gone on the buscocks. I could have been grown in a fucking lab to do QI. Never been on that either. But I didn't decide I was being persecuted for my beliefs. I just decided, oh, for whatever reason, I'm just not what they're looking for. I guess I'll have to find other things to do. And I did find other things to do. And when I couldn't find other things to do, I made other things to do. I didn't decide I was Alexander bloody Solzhenitsyn. Okay? <laughs> I'm being silenced! Can you hear me being silenced? <laughs> Listen to them silencing me! I mean, you couldn't be silenced a bit more quietly, could you? can <laughs> hardly hear myself think of you being silenced. So what is it they're doing? What is it? What is their crime? What is their sin? What have they done to so incur the wrath of the all-pervading liberal hegemony? What have they done that they should be so cruelly cast into surprisingly lucrative outer darkness? What is their crime? <laughs> what are they doing? They're saying the unsayable. Yeah, that's what they do. They say the unsayable to their 4 million podcast subscribers and YouTube followers. Saying the unsayable every week on their cable TV news show. Saying the unsayable to 15,000 people a night every night of their sold-out arena tour. Saying the unsayable. Yes, not that unsayable, is it? Really? As unsayable things go, surprisingly sayable. What with the whole them saying it all the time thing? <laughs> with no obvious ramifications apart from their ever-increasing fame and wealth. So what is it then? What is this unsayable thing? What is this foul calumny? What is this dire heresy that's going to shake all my preconceptions and bring liberal society gibbering to its knees? What is it? What's the unsayable thing? That woman's got a penis. Oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> really, that's it. 30 fucking years. That's what we've got. That's why this country. The Lenny Bruce died for this. That's what we've got. Uh, uh, that woman's got a cock. Yeah, at least you're not fucking talking out of it, mate. <laughs> so I suppose, I suppose, I suppose, I suppose, I suppose I, I can identify as Chinese. Can I? Yeah, yeah. I, I suppose, I suppose, I suppose, I, 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 I can identify as a chair. Can I? Yeah, yeah, I suppose, I suppose, I suppose I, I, I can identify as the colour mauve, can I? Yeah, yeah, here's a thought, mate, try identifying as somebody who can still write a fucking joke. <laughs> no, you can't write jokes anymore, man, nobody can write jokes, it's impossible to write jokes, nobody can write jokes anymore because of woke culture, woke culture has made it impossible to write jokes, no it fucking hasn't. Because it didn't last time all the time before that. 
None of this shit is new, folks. It just gets rebranded about every decade or so when bigots want a new little flag to wave when people start trying to cramp their style. Every time our culture takes a faltering half-step towards equality, some fucking gammon decides it's the end of comedy. But it never is. Right now, it's God knows you can't crack jokes about anything because of all this woke nonsense. But it's literally six years since God knows you can't crack jokes about anything because of the Me Too movement. Then the whole of the 90s and noughties, it was God knows you can't crack jokes about anything. Now it's all gone politically correct. In the 80s, it was God knows you can't crack jokes about anything. Now there's gay rights and anti-racism. In the 70s, it was God knows you can't crack jokes about anything because of the women's livers. You know what? Somewhere, there is a letter from Plato to Aristophanes saying Zeus knows you can't crack jokes about anything because of the reforms of Cleisthenes and the rise of the sophists. <laughs> Comedy's going to be just fine, okay? Society is in a constant state of evolution and comedy evolves right along with it. Besides, who the fuck said comedy was meant to be easy anyway? If comedy was easy, we wouldn't need comedians. Thanks for watching. If you liked it, please hit like and share. If you'd like to see more, please hit subscribe. And if you'd like to help me make more, please visit patreon.com slash mitchben.